Shout out to the kids. Thank you for uh, taking your time to, to talk to us on the podcast. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's it's the Bay Area, your home. What's it like being home? Uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, you, you just... I, you just remember all your childhood memories growing up here, and then, you know, of course, being in the, the industry. It, it's just, it's like, it's there, tucked in there, you know, mm -hmm. um, in the back of your mind, but it, it, it feels normal. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's pretty cool. It's yeah. really, really cool. The freeways look the same. Yeah, they're a lot more crowded. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's something, you know, I live in Texas, and the, the traffic is nowhere as near as uh, intense. Uh, but you know what? I get to enjoy the beauty of the city. Okay. So it, it's not too bad for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, let's just, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm, I follow you on Instagram. I saw you got some pho. Uh, uh, where was that at? Actually, no, we were at Chibog. That was at Ch Oh, Chibog okay. having some delicious sinigang. Um, and baboy, uh, bagoong, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, say you, that 50 times. No, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But uh, they, they, so I'm assuming, obviously, it's not like the Bay where there's a lot of Filipinos out here, but it's. Oh, yeah, it's totally different. I mean, Texas, we've been out there for 13 years. Um, it, you know, it's getting more and more diverse, but, mm -hmm. you know, there's some, there's just something about, you know, uh, being in the midst of a, a huge, hugely pop populated Filipino community. Mm -hmm. So it's it's fun. Right. <laughs> and last night you were at Ceremony, uh, and uh, I, I was able, uh, I'm so, I was supposed to be there, but I was, I was on coverage. But uh, my, my colleague Steve Angelis was there. He was telling me about there were lines of people. I mean, Ceremony, obviously, like that. If anyone who's Filipino, you would know what that means. Oh yeah, I mean, I grew up in the in in Daly City, yeah. so I mean, it again, it's like I was brought back to my childhood, and then really not having any expectations, and you know, kind of being very uh, surprised and overwhelmed by the people that came out to so you know to be there. Um, people drove after work. Uh, people were there in line before it actually started. And um, again, also seeing you know some of my family that I haven't got, had a chance to see in a long time. So it was like a, a family reunion. It was a supporter reunion, and then just people telling me their stories of what what my songs meant to them over the years. And um, even as far as uh, there was a, a lady who named her daughter after me, and wow. we were born on the same day and so it was really really neat and just got to say thank you because back in the day you didn't have like social media yeah. where you could interact with your fans unless they came out to your shows yeah. um but now um I'm actually having to learn social, you know, the the art or what it what it means to have social media. So it's it's not like before, and so you're more accessible. And again, just being able to hear stories. And there was another person that uh, brought out all all hit the the stuff that I signed. And he goes, I didn't have anything else, so I just um, printed uh, one of the the download um, images of you. And it was like, you know, people will go out of their way. You know, to sh to show you how much they appreciate you, it was very humbling, overwhelming, emotional, and so much love. I it the reception has been more than I could ever ever imagine. Absolutely, uh, well, like like you said, like there was no social media back then and uh, things like that. So you were really uh, the pioneer, especially <laughs> for for uh, Filipino Americans and especially like for me growing up with your music. Um, so I gotta tell you a story. Like, um, so I, I, uh, growing up here in, in San Francisco, the Bay Area, like definitely just weekends. Yeah, that's like radio play. Like, yes, like she's Filipino, I'm Filipino. So that meant meant the world to me. And so, years later, when when I I was in the Marine Corps, and I was it was about 2005. I was stationed in in Oklahoma, and I haven't heard uh, one of your songs in a long time. And of all places, I was in a strip club. That's <laughs> okay. And, and I guess for me, that was like, wow, uh, of all the times and the places right. was that <laughs> that your music is, uh, is, is celebrated and played uh, throughout the world. I mean, I mean, I wonder what does that feel like for somebody who, for you to, to put your heart and soul into it and that it's still uh, relevant uh, today? Well... It's almost like a, a pinch me moment, um, you know, especially, again, living in, in Texas for me, you know, sometimes when we're, 
you know, with the kids in the car, and you know, we turn on the radio station, yeah. and you know, they're doing the throwback um, uh, set, and you hear my song, and it's yeah. like, "Mommy, that's you," and it's like, "I know, that's so crazy, <laughs> right?" You know, um, but it's just so real, like to be able to know that my music is pretty timeless you know and it takes you back to oh i remember this song when i was in high school you know i was i was um you know pursuing a a a, a flame and you know what i mean I, I don't even know if they use that word anymore but just it, it's it's really amazing because i feel like i'm being taken back as well right. you know you forget you forget that the music has made an impact on someone's life you know there's a, a memory that just hits a chord and it's you know I again I, it's from there really are no words because I, I'm still you know living in the moment as well you know <laughs> absolutely but no. you stay away from those clubs oh yeah that was a long time ago that they took, that's the, they that's took the mommy in me <laughs> absolutely no after that there was a that early part of my military career that was a good lesson so like, keep keep your money uh, <laughs> But it makes me so proud, and like to to know that like we have somebody who who's been there and done that for us, and who's continuing to make music. I mean, do you do you really feel that when when you have knowing that that you made such a mark for our community? Um, I you know especially being here now in the Bay Area, I am definitely feeling it uh, more so. And again, with social network, you know the love that people you know, send out, it, it's, it's, it's pretty surreal, you know, because, you know, at home, I'm mom, yeah. I'm, you know, uh, my husband, we're, we're in full-time ministry, yeah. so we're ministering to the people in our, in our church body, so you don't see that, you know, um, but, but you have, ex but it's ac accessible now, right. and so it's pretty amazing, and I get it, yeah. I get it, and what, what blesses me is that, you know, when you hear the song, it's just a, f it's a, it's a feel good, mm -hmm. you know, it's a feel good, um, a vibe, if yeah. you will, and so I I love it. I'm thrilled, and I I, I couldn't be more um, grateful. All right, speaking of when you when you hear the song on on a recent IG post, well, maybe not so recent, but you posted uh, the lyrics to, um, I've been thinking about you. <laughs> And in your caption, you said that you're a college student pursuing a nursing, but this <laughs> yes. song changed your life. <laughs> I mean, like, at that time, so obviously you're already in, in the industry, but you were still going to school. Um, with that piece of sheet music, like, did you know how far that that, that was going to take you? It changed my life overnight. I just, I remember going to the studio and recording the song. And I left and I was like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, is to entertain and to sing great music. Um, and, you know, yes, it's good to be in school, but when you have an opportunity like that, you couldn't pass it up. And so it was an overnight, like a dream come true, hands down. I mean, it changed everything. It changed my world. So, I mean, like, overnight, so were you immediately like, all right, we, we need you, Jocelyn, we need you to come over here to L.A. or whatever, or, or well, oh. there's all this stuff that you have to do now? I, like you that? know, I think I, I think I remember recording that song. It was a Wednesday to Thursday night because back in the day, mm -hmm. you know, you would spend countless hours in the studio. Mm -hmm. And then I think the following weekend, um, they were going to play it on Wild. Wow. And... Mm -hmm within that week, they want you to perform. And I mean, it was like, okay, get dancers. I mean, <laughs> I, I, it was it was instant. Mm -hmm. It really was an instant moment. And so, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Had no idea, no yeah. idea. That's crazy. Well, I, I mean, we, when, we, when we met uh, in San Francisco uh, uh, earlier this year, uh, you were telling me about your life in Texas and things like that. So, so Obviously, there's always things What's that come up. What's changed? Uh, like, when, after we're done with the interview, like, oh, I want to ask this. So, uh, what I want to ask you is, so, uh, with your ministry, uh, for those, uh, did they already know, like, the your your, your career prior to, to um, all this? You know, I pretty much stayed low-key for a long, long time. Yeah. But I would have some people tell me, I know who you are. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, <laughs> okay, 
No, I mean, it wasn't like that at all. But you know what? I mean, life happens. Mm -hmm. And um, at that moment, I, I honestly thought that my career in music was pretty much done. You know, yeah. it was just a, 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 a distant memory, mm -hmm. grateful for the time. Um, but I, but God, God works in mysterious ways. Absolutely. And he knows the desire of my heart. And just doors kept opening and opening and opening. Um, but as far as my church family, I know that I'm being prayed up wherever I go. And so I carry them with me because they are praying alongside me just wherever the Lord leads. And so it's been really cool that they're, you know, kind of on this journey with me. Um, I brought my daughter uh, with me um, for this weekend. And, you know, she has never really seen her mom like this. And people are asking her, you know, how you feel, you yeah. know, with your mom being like this. And she's like, I guess it's cool. Yeah. You know, so she's, you know, she's she's experiencing this as well with me. So right. it's fun. <laughs> it reminds me of, I, I watch, um, I watch uh, NBA TV and they did this thing on Grand Hill about how his daughters are growing up and they find YouTube videos of them <laughs> of him playing. It's like, wow, Dad, you were really good. I mean, I knew you <laughs> played, but you were really good. And I, I guess my question is, like, do do your kids watch YouTube and then uh, find your music videos and and your performances? And do they ever? They come that? they do. I mean, they'll watch it, but honestly, I think they just know mom. Yeah. You know what I mean? They know mom for who she is now, and they can learn to appreciate it. But I love that they know the balance, you know, because they Absolutely. know that they're first and foremost. That, you know, they're the ones. They're my first ministry. Yeah. And so the fact that this is all coming to, be, you know, this is now going to be a part of my life, it's not going to disrupt it, but it's it's just going to make it even that much more richer. Absolutely. So. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's great. Uh, well, uh, you have new music. Yes. And uh, I'm, I'm loving the song. And uh, they, they played a little bit during during the show, but I was listening to it and like the and I know you, you mentioned it on the on, on VA, but like it obviously it sounds like a love song, like you know, for 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 anyone. But it, it really does sound like a uh, like a message between you and and all and all all the fans, yes. isn't it? Yes. Well, I am very um, grateful to say that I got a chance to write with my with my son and a good friend of mine. In San Antonio, we wrote this song, um, but there is a story. Uh, two years ago, I had the privilege um, performing at the Greek Theater with Gary V and the <laughs> '90s Act, and of, of course the Millennials. Um, and I honestly was scared. I was like, you know, why would people come out to see me? You know, but the moment I, I, I was on stage, the lights you know, the music, it became surreal to me that that there was so much love. And so the song, if you really listen to the to the words, it's basically going through that experience with me again. And I um I I'm I'm blessed to be able to be surrounded by a wonderful team. I have um I'm working again with my old manager Dorothy, who is with Lunaco, and it's again, it's 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 been surreal. Mm -hmm. Like, just they get to see uh, a very personal in me, side of me, mm -hmm. and um, being able to be vulnerable in a sense. Um, but yeah, to love again was written for the people that have supported my music throughout all these years. I I have to admit I. I ran, I mean, I ran from it because mm -hmm. I thought I was per, for sure done. Um, but I guess not really. <laughs> so here we are. Absolutely. Well, I love, I love the song. Uh, I mean, we got a single out. I mean, is there an album? Dorothy? Can we talk about it? Yeah. We, we, are, we yeah. are working, We're working in the on. studio yeah. now as we speak. Awesome. So I am really, really excited. And, and, and basically, um, I, I want to take everybody on this journey. You know, I it's been uh, what twenty years mm -hmm. uh, since I put out something, and so I'm gonna take you guys, take you guys on a journey um, uh, of what what's been going on, and mm -hmm. you know, 
hopefully impart it on, on the lives that are listening to the music again. I'm working on a Christmas song okay, as well. Cool. So yeah. I am really, really excited, you oh. know. Um, so much, you know, and it's different now because back in the day you'd have, you know, to schedule studio time. I mean, right. now it's it's a little bit more accessible, so I'm grateful for that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. That's so. that's that's something I asked you about back in uh, last yeah. earlier this year. It was mm -hmm. like just crazy how like from when during your time, mm -hmm. it, you got to stay in the studio constantly. But now people can make can do all that on their laptops. Yes. Uh, is that do you, how do you how how do you take that? Uh, I have a lot to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot to learn, but um, I have been blessed with a great team. Um, Elvin Reyes, who uh, is Dorothy's husband, is one of the the music geniuses behind this project, and it's cool because we used to work back in the day as well. He's uh, written a lot of my other songs in my, you know albums from before so it's it's really cool mm -hmm. it's very very cool and collaborating again with different people so I'm excited I li listening to the to the new song even even some of the older ones like it it, it the way the way I, I hear it is like I could I could hear this in Vegas <laughs> you know it has like a you know, freestyle is EDM and EDM is freestyle in a way we could you know if, if you want to compare then and now uh, and but you're independent how um how how uh how do you see uh your music being pushed out uh in today's era well again the the power of social media digital uh digital downloads mm -hmm. um i'm sorry i have to learn that the lingo digital downloads we're, we're I'm following <laughs> you i mean it <laughs> oh digital pop goodness digital platforms um I'm le yeah digital platforms you know yeah. and just getting spreading the word yeah. spreading the word again i have social media now so uh thank you to everybody that you know has has been following and sharing you know sharing this journey with me and all of the love so you know we're, we're gonna trust and put it in in, in god's hands you yes. know how far this is gonna be and doing it that way i think is 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 far more better <laughs> all right absolutely um just we're, all, we're just gonna wrap this up yeah. but like uh, just speak on on social media like how you said that meeting people last night at ceremony and them telling you um you know what how they feel about you but, but the fact that you you you're back on the scene now and you're and because it's a social media age have, have you been gaining that type of love or, or messages or connections uh, on social media there has been nothing but support in this in the social media world and you know again we didn't have this back then and people and it's funny because you would uh, someone would post it I had no idea you know I didn't even know how she looked back then mm -hmm. and to be able to see like you know just the everyday you know when we post something you know they'll respond back it's been really neat so it's like an interaction and yeah. so I'm really grateful for that um, and again, for the for for everyone that that shares and and um, you know great love, it, it's 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 really really cool. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, like like we said, like I said in the beginning, like you've been such a uh, inspiration. To, or I'm I'm just so proud, uh, and and you know like growing up li listening to you, and then and then you know the R and B wave of the of the late nineties, early two thousands, with your one voices and your Kai's and and them. Mm -hmm. And then now with with uh, with Ruby Ibarra, who you'll be sharing the stage with, um, what is something that you want to? I guess if you you could if you could pass on some knowledge and some advice to this new generation of Filipino Americans who are trying to make it in in the music industry, what what would you tell them? Um, what what I would tell them is to have fun, really really have fun, and be in the moment and enjoy. And remember who has blessed you with that gift, mm -hmm. yeah. and to really just be be in the moment. Mm -hmm. Any warnings? Any warnings? Or, or anything you like? Don't don't you know? Like this uh, this might come after No, I think just be true to yourself, yeah. and to also not be ashamed of learning. And mm -hmm. when make when you're when you make a mistake or whatever, to not look at it as a downfall, but an, as an advantage to learn from it. Because after because. It's what you respond. It's how you respond mm -hmm. that's gonna uh, um, own up to it, of course. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, take responsibility, but move move forward. 
<laughs> um, what do you, what did you think about about the the new generation like like Ruby Ibarra and even even those who who've been around like your gay bomb dogs and Jeremy Passion, Melissa Polinar? What do you what do you, what do you what do you think about this new uh, film labs who are in the music scene? I think it's pretty pretty awesome. Very very cool. Um, again, I'm learning the new you know the the millennials and the artists of of the time. So I it it blesses me to know that people are still in love with the craft mm -hmm. and they love what they do. And so, you know, I, I feel like a, a like an auntie or mom, or, you know, <laughs> I don't want to, a big ate, yeah. an older there ate. There um, but yeah, it, it's really cool. Yeah. Jocelyn Rodriguez, do you, uh, can you shout out your, all your social media? How, how do people contact you, follow you, tweet you? Oh man, yeah. that's a test for me. <laughs> I, okay, it's, it's good practice for all me. Right. Okay, for all those that want to know what is going on with me, I can be, I my I am on Facebook, in Instagram, Jocelyn Enriquez Official, and Twitter, J-E Music. And if any questions, um, any information, additional information, Lunaco. Very good. I hope that I did that right. You did that. Okay. You got it? We're good? <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much for, having, for, for being here. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you. Yeah. Had fun. Perfect.